Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to design a mobile app using Figma, and then use a code generator to build the code base for Flutter, and then run the application on a simulated phone. Purpose is just to show end-to-end -end how to get from design to a running app. I will not use a nicely designed app for that, but the most simple design you can imagine and focus on how to get the design from one tool to the other. Let me quickly run you through the tools I will use. Figma, it's on figma.com. It's a free cloud-based tool used to design user interfaces. You can use it to design your web pages or desktop or mobile apps. It's a fantastic tool and I would also say that if it would cost money to use it. It has a freemium model and if you're working alone, you will probably not need to pay anything for it. I suggest to check it out and create an account. It is quite powerful and that also means it might take some time to learn all the features you need. But basically it's a tool for designers and it can also support basic clickable prototypes to get a look and feel for how the application would work. You can also use it to create some basic marketing material for your app like screenshots or even little videos using the application. Next tool is Flutter. Flutter is an application development framework based on the language Dart. You can code your application on this single framework in one language and the framework will generate code to run on iOS, Android, web servers or even desktop applications from one single code base. So you program once and it runs on multiple platforms. VS Code is what I will use locally to edit and run the Flutter code. If you don't have these tools running on your machine, you find uh, tutorials and videos on online that explain how to install Flutter, how to install VS Code, uh, and run a basic Hello World sample application on your system. Flutlab.io is a, a cloud-based development environment and you might want to use it to develop your applications in a browser instead of on your local machine. It is quite good. It will host your uh, code repository, compile for you, and run your application in a simulated machine. I use it here now only to generate the Flutter code out of the Figma uh, design file. All of these tools and services are either free or have a freemium tier uh, that is sufficient to do what I'm showing here in this video. So to summarize what you need to prepare to do what I show in this video, install Flutter and VS Code on your computer. You should create a sample project and run it in a simulated uh, iPhone. Create a login for Figma or check if you can use your Google login. Either way, make sure you can create a, a project on figma.com. And the same for floodlab.io. Make sure you have a valid login and can create a project then there. So with all this said, let's get started. and Let's go to Figma and create a new project. So this is my Figma account. I created a new design project. Let's give it a name. And I make it as simple as it gets. I create a frame and I give it the dimension of a iPhone 13. Give it a background color of orange. And I create a second frame with the same dimensions and I give it a different background color with a beautiful blue. And now I add a couple buttons in here. One I make blue and one I make orange, make them a bit better visible with a little shadow. I make a copy on the other screen. That's it, and what I do is I add the interaction that if you click on the blue button, you go to the blue screen, 
if you click on the orange button you go back to the orange one so let's see how that looks I click on blue I go to the blue screen click on orange back and forth all right that's what I wanted so now I need to copy the link in a clipboard and I need to create under account account settings I need to create an access token that's this one These are the two things I will need for uh, Floodlab IO to access this repository. So that's all I need from Figma for now. So next steps are on floodlab.io. I'm logged in here. I have no active projects. And when I go to this icon, I can generate a project from Figma. And I need to get that link in here and I need that access token here it is responsive and I generate Now I have the project generated. I can use the tool to look at the code. So basically under the lib directory, I have the generated frames. And what I can do now is I can download that as a zip file. And that's all I need from Floodlab. So the next step is on my local computer. So the next step is in my VS Code. I have opened my VS Code and I will generate a new Flutter project using Control Shift P, selecting Flutter new project, application. Now I created a demo directory already and Call it Flutter app. In the same directory, I have also copied the download file from floodlab.io. So the system has now created the demo app. I can switch to an iOS simulator. and confirm that everything is running fine. That took 40 seconds, but it's confirmed the application is running as it should. So now I shut down the, shut, uh, the simulator. I shut down VS Code. All right, so on the left we see the uh, application we just generated using VS Code. And on the right we have the zip file and I also already unpacked the zip file that we generated uh, on the cloud application. So here we have under lib, fig to flood, app and, every, and the uh, main dot dot. And on the left we have the generated main dot dot. What we do now is we take everything under lib and copy it over to replace the generated one. What we also have is assets. It's probably empty, but I copy that anyway. 
uh, there might be more like fonts and stuff like that. So now we have overwritten the generated application with uh, what we have created based on our Figma file. So with that, we go back to VS Code. So now we see the, the generated files here in VS Code and it will most likely create some confusion on VS Code side, but nothing too dramatic. So I switch back to iOS simulator. And again, run the application. And here we have the application that's generated based on the uh, Figma design. It's running just uh, the way it should be on the simulator. And we see the code here. And of course I can modify the code at the business logic as I need to. Uh, it's a very simple way, very easy way to generate code based on a design. So that's it from the demo side. So once you have designed your app with Figma and have established the code base, you need to add the business logic to the code. Uh, for example, gen uh, accessing cloud services and the more complicated functionality in the application. If you want to see how to do that, follow me for more videos on this.